Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 1416 that says restore the atom. So guys as you can see in the past few days we are getting very more and more questions on the string and DP related in the lead code daily challenge. So today's question is also very much similar to that. So here the question says that uh, you need to write a program uh, but for that you are given one string s and the input and one integer k. Now what you have to do is you need to find the multiple ways to divide this given string into small substring where the number of each substring must be less than k. So uh, if you take a look at this example, this will give you better understanding. So here you are given the string s and an integer k and you need to find in how many ways you can divide this string s such that each substring is less than equal to k. So if you take this current st uh, this string as a complete string then also it is less than k that is one way. If you divide in 131 comma 7 this is another way if you divide like this 13 and 7 both the numbers are less than k so this is one possible way this is another this is another so similarly you can see that these are the different other states so yeah at the end you can say there are eight possible ways to divide the given string into substrings such that each substring uh, is less than or equal to k this is what the question tells question asks us to do to find the number of ways to divide the string into substring such that each number is less than or equal to k and we need to find number of such ways we can form our substrings. Now if you take a look at the first example, uh, okay but before that each uh, no, means we have to keep in mind that none of the number should have starting uh, 0 means no leading 0 in an array is allowed. So right so yeah, any number uh, if a, let's say this 0 0 this cannot be separated as a substring because the uh, starting of the number is 0 so leading zeros are not allowed. Okay, clear. Now we, uh, here, if you take a look, so it is uh, one zero zero zero. That is thousand here, and this is ten thousand. K is ten thousand. How many ways you can divide this string into dif uh, different substrings? So there is only one possible way, thousand, because after that there are only zeros. So we can't do anything for that. Okay, clear. Now here, uh, the input s is thousand, and the k is ten. Now here, the only way we can divide this uh, string is to take the complete string. But since k is uh, k is only 10 and the substring or, or that array we can form is 1000 here as you can see this is the minimum but uh, this is not less than k so we return 0 as our answer because the array that we have to print must have the integer less than or equal to k correct and this uh, example we already discussed right so let me take one more example for better understanding so guys if you have some uh, like some in, uh, integer like this 1 3 7 one three five seven okay and let's say k is equal equals to 200 now here what you can do is the one of the way to divide the given string is something like this one three five comma seven okay 135 is less than 200 and 7 is less than 200 another possible way is 13 and 57 right uh, another possible way is uh, you divide 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 okay another possible way is 1 you divide 1 35 and 7 okay you, you can divide some like this 1 comma 3 comma 57 okay then you can is there any other way possible yes one way is 13 comma 5 comma 7 so guys this is how you can find the different ways to divide the given string into substrings where each the number of each substring is less than Okay, so this is how I un I try to understand the question, right? Now, since uh, we are dividing the given string into this type of substring, then we have to find number of ways. So for each letter, for each letter or you can say character, we have choices. So what choices does the character have? So the choices is first choices. Uh, take the character in the current substring to so include in current substring or you can say current number or second way is to start new substring from that character from that character so for each letter or character we have these two choices either to include in the current substring or you can start a new substring from that character. So for an example let's say 
we have these only 1357 and k is 200 1357 and k equals to 200 so here if you take a look at the first first character then for that uh, since it is the first character we have only one choices to is to start a new substring right we have only one choices to start a new substring we have to at least start here so here we started now for the second character three we have now from here we have two choices either to include in the last number or start a new number one comma three now for five again we have two choices at each node we have two choices like either to include one three five something like this and we have to check whether including uh, 135 if it, it is less than equal to k or not if it is this then only we can do and the second choice is start a new number similarly for this also we have two choices 1 comma 3 35 and 1 comma 3 comma 5 and for the last letter 7 we have to check if 1357 is less than k no it is not less than k so this uh, we won't move forward from this uh, state now here are the second choices to make a new number from from this 7 okay now we will check 57 is less than k less than equal to k yeah then we can write something like 13 comma 57 as the second choice is 13 comma 5 comma 7 now we are also 1 comma 5 is 3 5 7 less than equal to k no it is not less than equal to k so we won't form this okay and the second st uh, state conditions will create this state 1 comma 35 comma 7 and from here also two states right 1 3 57 1 3 5 7 okay got it clear so guys this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so guys as you can see that these are the six possible answers that we can get with this string input and k is 200 so if you can look here that there are also six possible states that we have here generated by using the decision tree so guys that's that's how we can conclude that for each character there are two choices and based on the two choices we can form this decision tree diagram and uh, we can conclude the states right the different states now in order to approach this question what uh, what thing you have to keep in mind see the only thing you have to keep in mind is the changing index index that will point to the string that will point to string s okay because for each uh, let's say we uh, we choose uh, an index phi as a starting index then for each starting index what we will do is we will run a for loop for loop from the starting index up till s dot size and we will we will check see one 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 of the choices is what include the new index in the current substring so we will check uh, if so uh, if we, we will calculate that if the current num plus this new index index i s of i dx means if you uh, create a num by taking create a number by taking the index from i dx up till i then whether it is uh, less than equal to k we will check uh, and do something and if it is greater than equal to k if the number is greater than k then what we will do we will simply break because taking that number or taking that character in the current number current string we create a number greater than k and that is not allowed in our system so we will break so this type of states where we will uh, produce a number greater than k we will simply break and don't proceed forward so guys i hope you are you guys have understood this that how we will break the situation right and now let's move on to the coding part coding part is very much simple here we have only one changing variable idx that is the index uh, pointing to the string s and this is the, uh, the memorization approach i am showing here uh, so uh, here what i did is i created the dp or 1d dp because we have one changing variable right and it is of the size the size of the string because this index will range nothing but from zero up till uh, s dot size okay because if the index is greater than s dot size then we have written condition so our dp won't have the index who with the value greater than or equal to s dot size correct now if any starting index is uh, the numbers is the character zero then we won't be able to form the number so in that case return zero 
here i have taken two variables int ways and long current num so this current num i am calculating the current number that can be formed okay so uh, how i am calculating this current number so for the same example 1357 and k is 200 so let's say the our index equals to 0 0 1 2 3 so our current num would be would be 1 because uh, so initially current num was 0 so 0 into 10 is 0 plus this index that is 1 is the current num greater than k no so that's why we can move forward with this that uh, uh, and here we will count the ways right ways equal to ways plus solve as k i plus 1 ndp now what is this this is nothing but uh, start a new number start new number from i plus 1 okay this is one condition or one choice we are doing and the another choice is by taking this for loop see uh, from each i plus 1 we can start a new number or we can include the number right include the number into current number. so after this for loop and for the one time it will again start now the next index is what index is 1 uh, so that number is 3 so what we will do is we will change current number to 1 into 10 plus 3 so that would be equal to 13 now this 13 less than k yeah 13 is less than k so we can again uh, so again we have 13 in the first uh, substring and uh, here we can begin new number right begin new number so to uh, to begin a new number we are calling this ways right so yeah in the first state what we did we took one in the current uh, substring you can say and then we begin a new number new num then this is the first thing we did now is th because we can take 13 in the current num so we took 13 and then we begin a new number then in the next step we can take 1 3 5 and begin a new number so as you guys can see that this is the choice one that to include the current uh, character into inside the current num and this is our second choice to begin a new number right so yeah this is how we are handling both the choices choice number one and choice number two inside this for loop got it so yeah guys that's how we are solving and approaching this question uh, and now talking about the time and space complexity so the time complexity here is big of n see as you can see the size of the dp atom it is big of n so that many times we are uh, the solve function would be called but multiplied by log of k see why log of k so as you guys can see for this example only 1357 and k is 200 so one uh, one possible state is this uh, take one in the current num and then begin you know then 30 into current num begin you know 135 into current num so begin you know so for uh, so let's say this k is of length length 3 so for the three different at max three different possible state would be there right because see after that it our current num would be 1357 so for that we would break so for that we would break because it is um, greater than k so yeah uh, how many maximum different state possible with a k it is log of k different state possible so yeah this has to be multiplied in our time complexity got this if the k is 200 so it is of length 3 so it makes uh, three digits length can be possible in the current state so yeah this is how this we are calculating the time complexity here and the space complexity here is nothing but a big o of n uh, plus recursive stack you can take but overall you can say the space complexity is big of n as the size of the dp that we are using is a size of a string so yeah we can say it is a big of n so yeah guys that's all for this video if you guys have any doubts then do let me know in the comment section apart from this guys i have started one new video series where i will be uploading videos on solution of the coding round challenges uh, of the different uh, companies so yeah make sure you check that out also like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you